Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how you can enable two-factor authentication on Signal on your iPhone or Android device. Going by the way, Signal along with Telegram has emerged as probably the most preferred WhatsApp alternative. What makes it stand out against other messaging apps is a wide range of security and privacy features. One of my favorite security features is the so-called registration log aka two-factor authentication so if you are willing to add an extra layer of safeguard to your signal account this guide is for you that said let's see how it works before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader First off, I would like to point out some of the most important things which you must know upfront. Do know that if you forget your PIN and have no access to your old device then you'll have to wait for 7 days for the lock to expire. Only after that you will be allowed to log in to Signal and create a new PIN. So make sure to write down the PIN and save it. Another thing worth mentioning is that Signal does not support authenticator apps or provide any backup codes. Therefore, Therefore, you'll have to memorize the pin which will act as your 2FA key. Bear in mind that pin is not your screen lock or chat backup key for Signal. It is mainly designed for 2FA and safeguarding your profile settings. Enabling 2FA on Signal will protect you in case someone is able to swap your SIM. To begin with steps, launch Signal on your device and tap on your profile at the top left corner of the screen. Now select Privacy. Next you have to turn on the switch right next to Registration Lock. This will enable two-factor authentication on your Signal account. Now whenever you will reinstall Signal, it will ask for the PIN along with the one-time code sent to your device. If you forget your PIN then you can just tap on change your PIN and create a new one. You can create at least a 4 digit or a maximum 20 digit PIN What's more. You also have the option to create an alphanumeric PIN. At the same time do know that Signal will remind you to re-enter the PIN from time to time so that you don't forget it. If you find the prompt annoying, you have the option to disable pin reminders. However, I would recommend you not to do it because it is designed to ensure that you don't forget the pin. That's all there is to it. If you have found this guide helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.